It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Now, how'd you become the most gangster person in your neighborhood? Because, I, I mean, I come from it. Like, um, I did a lot of things coming up, you know? Things yeah. you can't talk about. Yeah, things I well, can't talk about. I don't want you about. to get in yeah, trouble. Nah, I ain't gonna get in no trouble. Ain't but good. circumstantially, these are things that you had to do to survive, or you made really bad decisions. You wish you. No, nah, I had to, I had to survive, and then once I survived, it, I just got a hang of their life, and I just kept going at it. That's why I smile so much. Like, how you able to look at me on Instagram and smile? Yeah. Hey, I'm like that because I'm really gangster. You never notice like people don't play with me. Talk to yeah. Talk yeah, to me like, about this. What do you mean? Because it's like it's uh, like a lot of people they uh um, mic lift the mic up a little bit. It will so hear a, you a lot of people. Is, a lot of people is kind of like they um they gotta have a mean face all day. The yes or they just you know just a super. I'm trying to scare you. Look yes. Me, I don't have to have that. I'm a real gangster. I, I grew up where, where it's like the gangsters play football with the kids, laugh, dance, hit the cha cha. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do your thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey baby, you know you you you, you, you live your life. So it's like when you when you when I was like, damn, if I'm if I'm I'm so guys, I'm like, if I switch it up with me being who I am, if I switch up and start being happy and smiling more, that'll get me farther than anything. So I'm like, right. I'm, yeah, so I'd rather be happy. Like, couldn't nobody like I'd have been got tried if I wasn't living like this for real. Like somebody so would have been tried me. You weren't you weren't concerned that like having this fun exterior would would remove some of the like fear that being gangster induces. No, never, never. not never. Because you seem to me so approachable, right. you know, uh, just kind of but, like. But you're like not, I asked you but, for a picture. It, it, you were so cool but, about it. You see, know? The, the thing is, you're not a gangster. Ah, so you. So what gave that so, away? So if you was a gangster, you you automatically notice he's a gangster. I noticed your handshake was do, a little bit smile. gangster. It don't matter how I do, what I smile, what I, whatever I do. Yeah. If you're a gangster, you know the gangsters know the gangsters. They're real on the streets. They, he do this. Can you, real on the streets, he with it. Can you, can you, now you know that from like word of mouth or there's a way to look at you and it's, it's tell. It's kind of like you got, you, got, you got real gangsters that vouch for it. You got ah. some people that seen something with their own ass. You got some people, you know, they, they, they call it, make them call it. You know what I'm saying? Woo, 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 woo. You know I definitely know what you're yeah, saying. Come through that. with the woo-da-woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I understood all of yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> so if I hear someone going woody woody woody, 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 he come through with the woody, woody, woody. That motherfucker is gangster. So get out the woody, woody. Get out the woody, <laughs> woody. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah I think but, we just wrote a song. But I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was about to slap. No, nah, but I... Um, so you're saying other dudes just recognize and understand? and they, 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 The gangsters. The, and those are the only people you really... Are concerned with their opinion because those are the people that are going to try you. A soft Did dude is not going to try. try. So you can be happy with the soft, soft guys. Dude. Yeah, oh, that can be cool. Too. But the so guys, you're saying I'm soft. I ain't saying you soft. I'm just saying you're not a gangster. <laughs> you're right. So if you're not a gangster, it's like yeah. I want you to come. I want to come out. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I want you to come out like I want you to come out as like um I want you to feel like I can talk to black youngs about anything. Right. For example. Yeah. When I used to mug every day. Yeah. And I was just like super tough one playing. Like, don't play with me. I'm some just super mad face and get and give me no word. I was I was doing a video shoot. Everybody in the video, bro, they was like super tough just. <laughs> Look at the camera. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> <The gun. laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so true. Like, who the fuck no, wants to watch so it? I was like, <laughs> look, we like, I'm I'm doing a video. Still, yeah. Now check me out. Like, the camera get to me, bro. We own a this a nice song I I remind you like a, yeah. a happy song like yeah this, this somebody sing happy <laughs> happy <And> birthday like, <laughs> I sing happy birthday happy black or white happy birthday man or either or okay <laughs> happy birthday to you happy happy birthday to you happy birthday <laughs> happy Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, black you know youngster. So, like, the, the camera get to me. The camera get to me. Get what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I had said, I can't hold, I can't hold it in. I said, these niggas is not tough. Because <laughs> you knew they were all acting. Yeah, I'm like, but y'all niggas acting for this camera. This is a nice song. Y'all want to serve me guys. <laughs> I knew that I went to her. <laughs> so I say, man, I'm going to start smiling because your smile, it determines how far you're going to go in life. Like, some people see Speak you not... Because when they see you not smiling, when, if I if I'd walked in the room and everybody was in here just looking super, you know, like... Let's say if I want to tell you something. Yeah. If you're looking mad and sad, I ain't going to tell you shit. Because uh. I'm like, you ain't going to take this the right way. 
Or if it's good or bad. But if you smile, I can tell you anything. So more people are sharing information with you. More people yeah, are... Yeah, I, I get more information. I get more... Connection. I get put up on game about certain things. When I was mean mugging, I didn't even want to talk to people that had the information. <laughs> I, I didn't even want to talk to the mailman. He just dropped the mail off. Because it's bills. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Based on what I'm saying, you know, like, but you're developing this shit, this shit on your own. Let me cut you real fast. Go, 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 Hey, go, so go. look, I'm looking for a couple to marry, and um, I need y'all to, I need y'all to call my phone. I'm trying to pay for a wedding. I got my my uh, my, my minister license now. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be the one to do the wedding and marry the, a couple. Yeah. So I'm gonna pay for the wedding, pay for everything <laughs> in my pocket. What is going on it's gonna right be. Now? You got you, you got to call eight seven seven real black R E V B L A C. Can you tell me what the car? Yeah, I got you. You got to call eight seven seven rev black one C no K. So let me cut you off again. Yeah, time. you please so please. Cut I got me my off. Thanks. I got my new. That's about three cutoffs. This is my, this is my new merch right here. Every <laughs> count. It's inside out. It's reversible. Ah, yeah. So got you. This is my new merch. You got to go to heavycamp dot com mm-hmm. to um. Purchase your jacket. Right. Get an ASAP because they sitting out. They, 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 they going faster than Jesus. Yeah. And I got my album coming out church on Sunday on November 29th. I got um, Chris Brown feature on it. Okay. I got um, PNB Rock feature on it. Okay. I got Yo Got It Money Bag feature on it. I got um, City Girls, JT, and Young Miami. Both okay. of them. I got The Baby. Yeah. I, and I got many more. And I got uh, I got my tour coming up, Church on Sunday tour. We just did overseas, sold out, sold out overseas. Yeah. Now we done with overseas. Where'd you so go overseas? I went to Italy. Uh, I'm uh, sorry, where? Italy. Italy. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I went to, I went to, I went to Co- Copenhagen. Copenhagen want to get nasty. I'm calling and, uh, it. I'm calling it Italy. And I, uh, <laughs> From now I, on, it's Italy. Italy. <laughs> it's not Italy. Sorry, uh, Italians. And another thing. You're I, Italian. I start, I, I start uh, Church on Sunday tour, January, February. Right. I'll be going on tour for Church on Sunday in the United States. Yeah. And I got my show in Memphis, I release concert on that- the 29th. And make a war how. Now you're it. from now Memphis, okay? Why are you guys so good at killing? Hmm? Memphis. <laughs> you almost killed me. <laughs> that was gangster. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> no, Memphis, the first 48. There's a reason why they shoot that there. I right? ain't kidding, Anna. It's, it's serious. Why? What is it about it? I mean, I've been to Memphis. It's, it's, it's nice. Like, the food is good. Okay. It, the, 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 well, I don't know much more. <laughs> <laughs> but real talk like after that barbecue right how are you not too exhausted to kill man it's kind of like my like the kids they come they they grow up and it's like for example when i was coming up yeah i ain't gonna say when i was coming up i'm gonna say something super guys and i don't want to say what i did because yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't do it yeah yeah, yeah i didn't yeah. do it allegedly yeah i didn't, yeah. I didn't do it yeah, yeah, yeah. so <laughs> these the kids coming up now Let's say like they might they, they uncle might got killed by this side of town over here. So it's like so it's like you grow it's, it's like a grown, yeah, almost like it's like my this uncle family, died over there, so family. it's war forever. How do you stop that? You can't stop that. So that's just something that will exist forever. People have babies just so they can grow up to take the other side out. Like it's like huh? Yeah, like yeah, in the hood. Oh yeah. But how would you stop it? Let's say you're Reverend Black. Right. Let's say you want to end the violence. Right. What would be your suggestion? I'm not ending this shit. I want squash beef. <laughs> If you beefing with somebody, beef with that person for life. Really? One day they're gonna take you out. It never stops. Man, look, if you lose if on a loss, nah, you can't when somebody dies, it's over with. Once blood get the shit, it's over with. Really? Don't squash it. I advise you not to squash it. They playing you. They playing both sides. They playing, they trying to play, trying to rock you. They trying to rock you like a baby, rock you to sleep. Oh yeah. so like yo, they squash it and then yeah. they find you. They still just shoot you in the back of the head. Why? Rock like a baby. Wow. Say it with me. Wow. Dude, Say it with me. We got so many good hits, bro. I really think I need some credit on this, dude. I need that writing credit, dude. I need that Beyonce writing credit. No, it's, it's crazy in Memphis, though, bro. Really? Shit, yeah, I wish I could help more. Like, right now, I'm a spokesperson for Juvenile Court. Okay. So I go help all the kids that got, like, um, pistol charges and stuff, gun charges or whatever. Right. Uh, sort of them things and um, I try to help them out like uh, getting get out of jail, get jobs and talk to them, keep them out of trouble. Like, I, I have to go speak, like, Four times out the year. Was it weird making money legit for the first time in your life? Yeah, it was super weird. I still was trying to hide it like I was just doing something illegal. Okay, and then yeah. <laughs> like, like when I, for example, I got to pay 2500 for my, my uh, for my first little show. Now I got five. I'm tripping. I got 5000 uh-huh. Then I um, I took the money. Uh, they they put it in my account. Put the money in my account. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, man. I got 2500 just sitting in the account. I'm, uh, that's, uh, that's how I'm looking at it. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. These folks might say something. They might come get me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I went to the bank. I said, I want to get some money out. She said, how much? 
I said, how much is winning her? She said, um, sir, $2,500. I said, I want $2,500. <laughs> Look, she said, what are you going to do with it? I said, I don't know. They said if it's in the bank, the IRS is going to get it. She said, uh, she said, sir, they still going to get it because it came to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I right, fucking leave it. But in I pay taxes, though. I pay taxes, though. It was just the beginning when I first came so in. Is that is that another tough thing also? It's like you're dealing with all your money. I even feel like this when I first started making money. You have to rely on certain people to look after your money. No, me? You so you look after every penny. Every of your penny, money. bro. I don't play because I have to pay them. I have to pay the RAs. Like I'm going to pay them. But you don't I'm have a business manager them. or nothing like that. Yeah, I got I got all of it, but I still look at mine. What do they say when they see your Instagram? Uh, and they, they see now they, fifty they, they cool thousand just like, on a gas station floor. Because like when you see me with cash, I go to the bank and get the cash. See now I go to the bank get the cash out and I just go show it and put it, and I yeah. put it back in the bank. I don't just have no. Two million dollars laying around me. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I went to the bank and I said, I want two million dollars. They said, come in Thursday. I said, okay. Came in Thursday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, I came in Thursday. Yeah. I came in Thursday. They gave me two million. I did my video. Went right back to the bank. They, they were for clothes. I said, I'm at the door knocking. <laughs> <laughs> I've like, got some money. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I got open the motherfucking door. They let me in. I give them the money back. I'm like, huh, put it back in my account. So it's kind of, Why use real money? Why not use the fake money? Nah, man, I can't do that. You, no, because fake. you have it, right? Like, like people who wear like a fake chain or have like a fake car, fake sneakers or something like that, right? Like, right. if they can't afford it, it's fake. But mm-hmm. if they can, like if Bill Gates wears a pair of fake sneakers... It don't make any difference, and he could buy the Nike if he wants to. You kind of got a point, like, but we not gonna we not gonna drive that car, huh? I don't want to be in your car. I want to catch a taps, taxi. You drive along. You gonna be in someone else's car? You I don't really, even I really, know. I really, I really you know kiss, me. We sung happy I, birthday. I really, I, I, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, man, but you forced me to be like this. You talking about <laughs> fake clothes and shoes? I but you hear what I'm saying? Like, if you got the money. Fake is I, I get important. what you're saying. I get, I get your point, but the thing is, man, if you can't afford this, you don't put it on because you still get you you, you making like, like me. I can't wear anything fake because if I put some fake on, I'm encouraging my fans to go buy this shit for real, for real. I so they, you're encouraging them to buy the fake shit. Yeah, they, they encouraging them to buy the real thing. So I, I can't even give them advice on, hey, nah, this ain't real. I'm gonna get that. Like if I go pay fifty dollars for a Gucci jacket, then one of my fans they see me with it on, they gonna automatic because I'm rich. They gonna think, I oh, you paid ten thousand for that Gucci jacket. So what they gonna do? Go spend ten thousand for a Gucci jacket? Ah. I don't want to see people go broke. So you feel like a a, a responsibility? Yeah. So I have to wear real <laughs> things. Like how I have this on, I, I got affordable things on. Like I'm to the point where I don't even wear super high stuff all the time. Huh. And when I, when I do wear, I don't broadcast it because because now you have fucking can't afford money, it. dude. That's the difference. Like rich people that are really rich, they don't ever flex. Mm-mm. Think about the richest people, dude. Real talk. But Warren re- Buffett drives a Honda. Something. They don't. They don't never flex. <laughs> they don't never flex. But guess what? They this because they came out the womb rich. No, Wouldn't. there are guys that made it from nothing, right? Yeah. And I'm sure they flexed on the way up. Don't get me wrong. Right. I'm sure on the way up they flex. But then when they got real money, and then they realize, I don't gotta impress these broke motherfuckers. That's where I'm at now. Like I'm at that point. Of the, I just like throwing cash, bro. Yeah. It, it was a point. I like I fucked off. Literally probably like 400 grand one year just going to the strip club because I want to see myself throw money <laughs> on the camera. You spent $400,000 one year at the, strip club. at the strip club and I still had to pay taxes on it. I couldn't even write the horrors off. <laughs> 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 For real.